This is Australia's tourism capital, the Gold Coast. It's also theme park heaven. And what better way to see the fabulous Gold Coast than from the air with SeaWorld helicopters. Welcome aboard and thank you for flying with SeaWorld helicopters. For over 30 years, SeaWorld Helicopters has provided a supreme level of tourism aviation to more than 30,000 very happy passengers a year. We loved it! Oh, fantastic! The best thing I've ever done! What a beautiful city! Whether you're a tourist, local or business person, SeaWorld Helicopters will provide an unsurpassed level of service. Talk to us about charter options for real estate, aerial photography, television production or a once-in-a-lifetime getaway. SeaWorld Helicopters operate two executive Eurocopters with a proven global reputation for safety, reliability and performance. Air conditioned, the latest safety and navigational equipment and leather seating provides luxury comfort for up to six people. The spacious comfortable cabin has panoramic windows and every passenger has their own headset for easy communication. Yeah. It was great! It was great! Absolutely awesome! A yeah, wonderful way to see the Gold Coast. Now, sit back, relax and enjoy your journey all over again with SeaWorld Helicopters. Traffic sound for sea traffic up Sierra Whiskey, Lambert School, Hold Taxi SeaWorld, take off to the south. Lima's airborne seawater to the south on climb, 1,500 feet, taking it south and over land to the Gold Coast zone via Rabina. Uh, good afternoon everyone, my name is Russell. If you have any questions as we're flying around, please feel free to ask. Just a reminder that your microphone's uh, voice activated. So please ensure the microphone's right in front of your mouth, almost touching your lips, and then speak normally. Darling. Oh, I'm not taking for a flight. Yeah. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, good, okay. I could hardly hear it. Yeah. <laughs> Russell, you came the Yes, darling, that's the canals. You went past the canal. Yes, all the canals down there in the river. I went past that too. Yes, you did. Down there, that's the racetrack, that's where the horse is. Runway 14, radar Cover. reduced, refer no tam, wind 0, 5, 0 degrees, 9 knots, crosswind maximum 9 knots, downwind maximum 3 knots, visibility greater than 10 kilometers, isolated showers in area, cloud few 2,000 feet, temperature 2, 5. QNH 1013. On first contact with Gold Coast, Tower or Brisbane approach, notify receipt of Juliet. Hotel. Okay, around us now, we'll start to appreciate the large number of canal estates here on the Gold Coast. They are all man made. Initially, they started with modifying the existing waterways, the creeks, and the streams. But over time, they've got pretty good at it, so now they pretty much build them wherever they like. This is an Orang River underneath us, winding its way through the suburbs, it flows past SeaWorld and out to the ocean via the Seaway. So where are you guys from in the back there? Just put the microphone up. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Yep. Hello. Yep, where are you guys from? Asia. Asia. Yep. And how long are you here on the Gold Coast for? 
And how long are you staying on the Gold Coast? Uh, five days. Oh, lovely. Yeah, you can rest that up on top. Yeah, we'll see the mess that do up a bit, but... Uh, yeah, now it'll just sit there, yep. So that's your forward right here, the large white building you can see is Skilled Park, that's yeah. our new football stadium. We found the atmosphere there the other night for the uh, first game, was awesome. I didn't go, but... Uh, were you there, were you? No, I wish I was, yeah. I wasn't one of the privileged 27,000 yeah. to be there. Exactly. The bushfires over there. Yes, yeah, I hope that's not the sign of anything to come. Good afternoon, helicopter Sierra Whiskey Lima for a seaboard airport received uh, Juliet request clearance. Sierra Whiskey Lima, tower, roger, enter the zone, uh, tracking west of the motorway to the Pines Shopping Centre, and then west to the John Fenn Hospital, maintain 1,500. Uh, west of the motorway, west of the John Flynn, uh, 1,500 Sierra Whiskey Lima. That's a Dewey, haven't had that one before. Oh, so you've got is a little it a rescue helicopter, is it? I don't know, we are, no, we just have to track a little bit further out. Yeah. There must be something going on. No, this is the new uh, Varsity Lakes railway station side down here on your right. Oh, okay. Uh, that's where it'll all go. And then eventually it'll cut through all this uh, car yard across, um, across the highway a bit further up in these quarries and then uh, on the right hand side of the highway to the uh, airport. You don't realise how big these quarries are until you know you see them. For this. You don't see it from the highway much. Oh no, no, they're massive, considering where they are. Yes. Yeah. Well, they were way out when they were... <laughs> yeah, we no built. We've just engulfed them. Yeah. That's right. Go, maintain runway heading Romeo Bravo Bravo. All this um, industrial stuff down here. Yeah, you don't realise quite how big that is. Obviously they're doing a bit more works down there. Yeah. Okay. How's it going? Yeah, it's, it's slipping off. How are you going, Ryan? All right? Good? Yeah. That's the way. You see everything? Yeah. That's good. Oh, look, you can see the ocean down there. Report heading. Sierra Whiskey, maintaining 120. Sierra Whiskey, Lima, just fly heading of 150 from there, just to widen your clear of the circuit area. There's an aircraft on a right downwind leg of 1500. We're doing a glide approach shortly. There will be a delay getting to the coast. Uh, uh, right turn, uh, heading 150, copy the traffic, Sierra Whiskey, Lima. Fox or Romeo, information of the Seawall helicopter opposite direction on heading to the uh, south. To the uh, west of you, and he's also 1,500. Well, there's a whole new adventure here, getting steered all over the place. Looking for traffic, yeah, they're fucked up right now. Oh, interesting things to see. Zulu Zulu Hotel, cleared to land. Right. Clear to land, Zulu Zulu Hotel. Thanks, and you're following a uh, Challenger jet on a two-mile final report sighting for the glide approach. Oh, yeah. Looking for traffic, Julie, Foxshot Romeo. Foxshot Romeo, and your cleared visual approach, report ready for base behind the Challenger. There's the aeroplane we're avoiding just out to your left there, you can see it now. Foxshot Romeo. That's the aeroplane we have to go away, oh, get away okay. from. It's an aeroplane, right? Yeah, catch me on. Catch me on, contact avoided. ground. Julie Foxshot Romeo is ready base. Oops, going to fall. Roger, right, turn and base north of Crumbin Creek, Wake 2, Blunt Spacing. Better? Crumbin Creek, turn base. Jerry Foxtrot, Romeo. Jerry we can track towards the airport. The air clearance summit is the uh, the runway and maintain 1,500. Track to the field, clearance summit at the runway, uh, 1,500, Jerry Whiskey Lima. Charlie in the Gulf, orbit in your present position until advised. Orbit in present position until advised, Charlie in the Gulf. No, it's a little bit different out here. You can see uh, 
you know, some of the new works now. And then we'll come off the uh, wide right circuit. Uh, Chicken bypass. Big wide right circuit, Romeo, brother, brother. <laughs> well, it does look like it is, it yes yeah. it does. Yeah, that's what new housing estates look like. Yeah, tighten up their approach now if that helps. Part of the Chugan Bypass? Or is no, the Chugan Bypass is down uh, over, you can see the bridge. Oh, yeah. 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 So that'll open up, that's one of the bridges over the bypass. Right. So that'll open up this whole area here. Right. So you can see the bypass coming across the other side of the lake. Yeah. Yeah. Goes under the tunnel at the end of the runway. Yeah. 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 Right, that's an airplane. That's the airport ahead of the sea. Uh, Jimmy Fox, we're real weekly, if it's a project, you're going to play that one, that's a lot of Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
suburbs and canal estates here. Um, you can see some of the older houses still here. I bet you uh, they're worth a fortune. Jewish coming around for passing nobbies and opposite direction traffic in the sea cap appears to be two thirty just past Jupiter's southbound attention tunnel. now. Copy the traffic, uh, Sarah Whiskey Lima. Somewhat since then, now quite state of the art. Just the mouth of the Calabar Drew Creek, you see it there. You see it's quite silted up. Uh, the beach on the other side of the headland barely heads, so it's sand quite a bit. So what they've actually done is put a permanent pipeline around the headland, so whenever they need sand for the beach, they simply dredge out the creek. They do that about two or three times in a year. Looking at the erosion there at the moment, I dare say they'll start doing it again very shortly. Come here, brother, brother. Was it touch and go, confirm? Sorry, what's that? Yeah, yeah, they used to have the playroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. 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 a famous, infamous place. Infamous, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Another helicopter just in front of us here. The care flight. Another helicopter. Visual approach via a right downwind wing. Just stop and hold this. Stop and hold all times. Care flight. One the rest. Visual approach via a right downwind in the one four direction. Mind the left one. That's right. There it is. There it is, out there. That's right, that's the one that was looking for the aeroplane that went down. That's, that's right, right, yeah. The Sarah Whiskey Lamer's North Lane back to the seat. Sarah Whiskey Lamer, French Church, very good. Sarah Whiskey Lamer, cheers. Traffic southbound, Sarah Whiskey and Lima is two miles north of Burley Heads, 500 feet over to northbound, four porpoise point. Oh, so this is massive house down here on your left. Um, the one guy bought the five blocks yeah. for thirty-two million dollars. Uh, bulldozed all of them in building in one house on the side. Uh, total cost somewhere just short of a hundred million dollars. Yeah, it'd be nice to have a hundred million dollars just to lob into your house and have spare change left over. I guess it's a, it's a problem. Yes. One I can cope with, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, not one I'll ever have, but yeah, <laughs> no. I understand what you're saying. I can manage it, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give it a go. <laughs> yeah. So as you left, you got the Ritzel Car Park and Buildings, the Pacific Fair Shopping Centre. Yeah. So, in behind the Twin Towers, under construction there, with the, is uh, the glass lake front of roof of the Jupiter's Casino. Both will quite happily take your money. It's all a bit quiet before the storm of the Easter weekend. Probably be busy over the Easter, would you? Oh, I would think so, yeah. yeah. So we're not too sure how it'll go. Because yeah. yeah. if it's yeah, really nice weather, people will go to the beach. Mm -hmm. If it's not, they'll go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> so look at this. Uh, yeah, the retailers, the retailers love it, yeah. Exactly. So to your left here, this high rise amongst the high rises, that is Q1. Q1, uh, right? That building stands 80 stories high, with a spire on the front reaching 322.5 metres. It is currently the world's tallest residential town. Also makes a rather spectacular lightning conductor. Got struck eight times in two nights shortly after it was completed. Fabulous up the top there though, if you go up and have it. Yeah, it's a pretty awesome view. What, darling? Yes, sweetheart, yeah. Uh, nearly. Sea just a bit further up. 
see what's just up here. It used to be easier to see when the eye was there, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> now it's not there, it's not so easy. Shame they've taken that away. Yeah, yes. Here we are, we're coming up to SeaWorld up here now. Uh, just your forward left on the beachfront is the Sheraton Mirage Hotel. You'll see the building is designed on a crab facing out to sea. And yeah, the cream colour building behind it is the Palazzo Versace. No matter Gianni Versace. Yeah. Uh, both magnificent hotel, certainly worth a look at the foyer of both if you've got the time. Yeah, that's that's well. Yeah, we'll turn the corner here and go back and land, yes. Know the way, don't you? You no, know the Maybe you should do this job. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's the plan. Yeah. <laughs> it's got the enthusiasm for it, that's for yes. sure. Oh, you can see why the developers want to get their hands on this bit, can't you? Oh, yes. Another well, narrow channel for the ocean just ahead of us here is the Sea Seaway. Uh, back in 1985, the they made the channel safer by dredging it, putting it in the rock walls. Uh, the groins, but then they had to build a man-made island just in front of us called Wave Break Island. And that's there to protect the residential foreshore from the erosion. Also a popular spot for boating, camping and diving. I dare say if the sun comes out on the weekend, that'll be chock-a-block full of boats. Traffic south for sea traffic up Sierra Whiskey and Emma's uh, point now on the left turn on the central landing sea world to the south. Uh, south Pole Broadwater in now. Uh, as you can see all the low sandbars around here are exposed to low tide, so it really does make it quite a narrow channel system. Considering the wide expanse of water, and yeah, it wouldn't be the first time some poor skipper's been embarrassed, uh, waiting for a change in the tide to continue their journey. All well, the pop marks you can see in the sandbanks here are caused by uh, stingrays as they shuffle in and make a temporary home. You might see some of them just moving around on the shallows. So I hope you enjoyed your flight. Uh, please enjoy uh, the rest of your day at sea when you stay here on the Gold Coast. Very enjoyable, wasn't it? Did you enjoy that? Oh, my pleasure. Mummy, mummy waiting. You've been flying with SeaWorld helicopters. Come back and visit Australia's Gold Coast soon.